Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to Boardwalk Hall in the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for a much anticipated main event. 15 rounds among heavyweights. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Muhammad Ali's ring walk. Something special in the air. You can just sit out of him. Ruiz is really keyed in for this one. You can see it as he makes his walk to the ring. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all time. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. All right, let's go. 15 rounds scheduled here in this much-anticipated fight, and we are underway with round number one. Teddy, in terms of breaking a man's will in terms of testing him where he doesn't want to be tested. What can the power puncher do against this fighter who the rap on him is he has low stamina? Just keep the steady pressure on him. Make him start to think that you're immovable object. That he can't do a damn thing about what's about to happen to him. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Back to the body. You see him holding on. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. And now looking to hang on. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Combos, combos. Good flush shot by Ruiz. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Muhammad Ali. Blocks the headshot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Good right hand. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Watch the hook. Teddy, there's a certain fire that rages in Muhammad Ali. A lot of it has to do with the early days and some things he faced growing up in Louisville. Yeah, I mean, he's a sensitive person. He's a person that takes that sensitivity and he puts it somewhere in a place, as you said, sort of in a furnace that can burn strong. You know, this was during a time where this country was uh, not at its proudest times, the way that it behaved towards black people, towards African-Americans, and he remembers that, and he uses that in a positive way, in an athletic way, in a way where it just prospers him career-wise. And that's the end of round one. 
bad intentions is putting forth an effort, but he's not being effective in that regard. No, he's not. He's not landing when he needs to land. And it kind of reminds he's a banger, too. He can punch a little. It reminds me of an old saying that a trainer once told me. It doesn't mean anything to have a big punch. It's kind of like having a military weapon, a bomb. What good is it if you don't have a missile to get it to the target? Right now, he needs a missile to get that punch. He needs to set it up, and he's not doing that. Here we go. Round two is underway. And he just holds on there. Active body. Body shot lands. It was the right. Ali's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Precision work with the left hand by Muhammad Ali. He engages in the clinch. I shake it off. Flush right hand to the head. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Doubles up the jab. Oh, what a hook by Muhammad Ali. Halfway through round number two. Ali with a right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Bad intentions, his right hand scores well that time. Two good jabs by Muhammad Ali. Good right hand by bad intentions. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. What a sharp, piercing hook by Muhammad Ali. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Just ten seconds to go here in the second round. And we come to the end of round number two. Ruiz's corner better explain to him clearly why he lost that last round. His accuracy was way off. Well, if you're looking to find change on the beach, you go out there with a metal detector. Well, right now, we need a punch detector. He needs a punch detector. He needs a jab to find the mark. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. There you go. And round number three is underway. Up top with the right hand. Work the body, kid. Body shot. He's tied. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Sound defense. Good block that time by Muhammad Ali. Move your head. Ali's putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. Big uppercut by Ali. Back 
tough to have a discussion about Muhammad Ali without bringing up the name of Smokin' Joe Frazier, their trilogy, perhaps the most documented in the history of the sport. Well, Fred Astaire, maybe the greatest dancer of all time, had to have Ginger Rogers, and you do need somebody to match up with, and he found that person. He found that person in every way was the perfect, perfect guy to make great fights with. You know, personality-wise, the opposite of each other. And style-wise, in that ring, the opposite. One guy coming forward, another guy on the outside looking to take advantage of that forward motion. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Strike after catching one by Muhammad Ali. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Look at Muhammad Ali and his ability to avoid punches here. He's got it every which way. He's slick, he's smooth, he blocks and parries. Good defense. Really good job by Ali. Ruiz's inability to hit the target is really making him look silly right now. He's throwing plenty of punches, just none of them are landing. No, he's throwing them too wide, too far away, Watch and what's going to be worse, right now he's only getting frustrated, maybe embarrassed as you touched on, but what's going to be worse is when he starts getting counted in between them. Ali's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure, anytime you have speed, and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Solid straight right hand. And that's the end of round three. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Look, you're standing straight up with that body. Don't get careless, okay? Don't fight his fight. Muhammad Ali is up on Teddy's scorecard, three rounds to zip, but still obviously a lot can happen at this point forward. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Unable to score with the hook. Nice, nice. Able to cover up that gut. Unable to connect by Muhammad Ali. Early on in this fight, one of the things I'm going to look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively? Who can do it all with all their punches? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you look at a quarterback, you know, in football, the great ones, they can throw deep, but they can throw the short patterns. They can throw the out, the in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. Pace yourself! Good defensive skill. Double up on your punches. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Nice job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by Muhammad Ali. Ali.
Ali's able to land a good, solid left hand. Yeah, give it a word. Keep your head moving. Makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Good, solid right hand lands. Bad intentions is deep. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. is getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Ruiz's concern right now has to be the fact that this fight could be stopped if he's going to take more and more punishment like he just did in that last round. Well, you're absolutely right, Joe, but I think his concern goes back a long time. The habits that he learned and didn't learn in the gym because that's why he's getting caught with all these shots that have him in this position. He's got nothing left. There you go. Now listen to me. I need you to double up your punches and keep the lead, all right? Round number five has arrived. Bad Intentions is coming out here at the start of this round, but it may be the last time we see him doing that. He just looks like a guy who's been battered and beaten coming off of that knockdown in the last round. Yeah, Joe, and he didn't even get the full minutes to recover there because I was watching in the corner when he went back. In the corner, man, they didn't even have to stool. There was panic going on. They didn't have to stool. It took about 10, 15 seconds before he finally got to sit down. So he's not right. uppercut you'll see locks away that headshot bad intentions is in a bad spot right now he's been stunned look at that and he goes down again will he get up from this now getting back up off the canvas. Looking good. Bad intentions is finding a way to get a breather here. And the big shot there. Ruiz is battered and beaten. I don't know that this fight's going to continue. over fight is over muhammad ali's hand to be raised in victory he scores the knockout here tonight This fight is now over, and Teddy, it was obvious right from the beginning which way it was going to go. Oh, yeah, what a tough guy. He took so much, but he took too much. The only guy tough is his manager for taking this fight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.